20 foot shipping container home converted into a tiny house. Let's check it out. What is up guys, today I have a brand new video for you. We are in Waco, Texas at this 20 foot beautiful container home. I'll be giving you guys a tour of this tiny house and show you just how efficient this can be and how someone can live in a 20 foot long container. If you're interested in this Airbnb, the link is down below. The price to rent this for a couple nights is actually really, really cheap. Some of the cheapest prices that I've shown on this channel. So I would highly suggest come check it out. Uh, also link down below is to save $40 on your first Airbnb stay anywhere around the world. So please go check that out as well. So we are in Waco, Texas. If you don't know where that's at, it's about an hour and a half south of Dallas. And this town is very beautiful. I've done some videos in the past on container homes in this area as well so go check out those videos it's actually on the same grounds as those videos so this container home is very similar to the 20 foot container home I've shown last time the outside is very similar made by the same people owned by the same people but the inside layout is very very different so I thought it was worth showing a different style layout for a container home like this and I like the last one so much and being in Waco so I had to come back Waco Texas offers a lot from the downtown to of course the Magnolia silos from Chip and Joanne and everything and anything in between that. I've enjoyed my stay here so much. This is honestly one of my favorite places I've been to. So once you reach Waco, you'll drive to your home and you pull up and you'll notice that it is a kind of a container home community slash tiny home community. There's several on the property and you reach to whichever one you pick. If you come to this one specifically, you'll pull right up to it and you're greeted to your home. Like I said in the beginning, this is a 20 foot container home. And as you can see on the outside, they've added wood on all the outside side which I think is a very beautiful design feature. Sometimes people add things to containers, sometimes people just leave the containers. I like both of them. I like it whenever they add wood like this to it as well as just leaving a blank container. So I think this is a really cool design. The front part of this little container home you have your little deck and something neat about this container home is that the doors are actually the original doors to the container. They just made them this glass and they both open. They swing wide open. They're huge. Uh, it is really neat because you can open it up and just let there's some air flow in through your home and it makes it feel a lot larger and I don't know I think it just adds a lot to this home compared to a regular door plus the windows which is really nice as well to let in some natural light uh, right above that there's an overhanging right here and it's nice because if it's raining or something you're not gonna get rained on by your container home and it just makes the outside look a lot more clean and nice but now we'll just take a swing around off to the side so as you can see there's windows on each side of course and the wood just continues and on this right side you'll go all the way in the back and you reach your spiral staircase which is really neat and that leads to the top part which is your patio rooftop patio basically and it is so cool to have this I think you just climb up this ladder and you're on top of your home there's guardrails all around it they have lights that swing all around it there's a couple chairs up here and you can just come up here and enjoy your meals your dinner or you can come up here at night and just hang out and watch the stars or anything I love this so much I like it a lot better compared to a deck that was on the ground I think this adds to the container homes so much especially for the price you get for this place and where it's located uh, if you're building a container home or anything like that keep this idea in mind because it is super cool honestly one of my favorite features of this place so after that you'll just head right back down uh, your staircase and you just swing right on to the front and you open up your front door and you're greeted to your tiny shipping container home like I said this is a very different layout compared to the last one that I've shown if you've seen that one this one I like the layout actually a lot better so we'll just get started with the tour you walk right in and you can see everything this container home has to offer since it's so small I believe this is a 20 foot by 8 foot so I believe that is 160 square feet of living space in this home which is very very tiny off to the left side you have a chair and desk area to hang out at and they offer some chocolates right here and there's also a couple other nice decor pieces right here and a desk that has some magazines in it about Waco if you want to check that out anyway on the other side you have this really cool wooden design capsule for your TV you just open it up and you have a 
TV right in there. Uh, I like this a lot because you can hide the TV because TVs are a lot of times ugly. So this is really cool because you can hide it whenever you're not using it, but whenever you open it up, there's a TV. And I might be thinking it's really awkwardly placed. The TV does swing out, which is perfect. You just pull it out and face it towards your bed. Oh, it's so perfect and the perfect positioning, really nice. So when I'm done with that, just close it up and you move on and you'll see your full bed right here, which takes up a majority of the space of this home. But it is nice compared to last time because last time it was a Murphy bed, so it swung in and out of the house. Uh, this time you don't have to do that at all. And it's just right here and you have a decently sized walkway right next to it to continue. Right behind the bed, uh, behind these pillows, you have a little cubby to store anything to charge your phone at throughout the night or anything like that. And then we'll just continue on. You got the windows on each side, which is really nice. You got the wood that is covered on the walls and on the floor and even on the ceiling they have wood. And I really love how they add these wood beams across the entire ceiling just to add some dimension or depth or texture or whatever to this tiny home. And also these front windows slash doors just let in a lot of light, but whenever it comes nighttime and you want to close them up, they do have these curtains so you can just close all this window up and of course close the blinds on all the windows inside so you can be in a blacked out box basically. Really nice. So anyway, let's just continue and right behind the bed, it is kind of separated by this wall, which is really neat. On top of the wall, they just have some decor stuff. They have your guest book and the guest book at these homes are probably the best I've seen because they have prompts for you to read like where did you go what would you suggest to other people coming and everybody suggests things so it's a really good way to see what there is to do around Waco or wherever you're at and then right behind this wall is your kitchen area in quotations it's not really a full kitchen they just have some of the kitchen uh, needs they have a microwave and a coffee maker on the countertop right here above that they have some open shelves and they also have some mugs right here and then just below that you have your mini fridge and just some other things you might need like like an iron and some fan in this basket and then along the wall they have cream and sugar of course and some knobs to hang some clothes or hangers which is nice and that's about it for this area that's about it for the kitchen there's no real cabinets or dishes you can't really cook in here or do wash any dishes unless you use the bathroom sink but that is okay because this is a tiny home and hopefully you're out exploring more than hanging out at this tiny home so we'll just move on from that and the last thing of this home is this backspace which they used for the bathroom. Now a sliding barn door covers it, which is nice. And right next to the sliding barn door is the AC and heating unit, which is also really nice. It takes no time to heat or cool this tiny home, so that is included as well and we'll just continue on through the sliding barn door and you have your bathroom. This is a full bathroom. It's really spacious actually for a 160 square foot home. The first thing you'll see is the sink and mirror area. There's also a couple containers on this wall to store some things like towels or anything you have. Uh, this is a nice size sink. It's not super mini like some tiny homes and, on the, and then right next to that you have your toilet and right above the toilet they have this little basket that has everything you need in case you forgot all your toiletries. They have it all right here which is really nice to add in an Airbnb be. And then you have your entire walk-in shower, which is really cool. I love the subway tile, of course. I always love subway tile, and it's a pretty spacious shower. It's really nice. Here's a shot of me in it to show how big it is. So that is your entire tiny shipping container home. It is really cute and nice. Uh, if you are interested in building a container home or a tiny house, I would suggest checking this one out. Maybe come stay in here for yourself to see how it feels for you, if you like it, because some people like certain feels and layouts different than others. I like this one a lot, so I would suggest this one. Uh, if you're interested in shipping containers and if you ever wondered how to buy one, where to get one, there's a link down below. I've partnered with USA Containers, so go check them out and go buy some containers. Thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like on it and comment what your favorite part was. Mine is definitely the deck up top. That is a really cool feature to have. And make sure to subscribe and share this with a friend. If you ever want to come check it out with a friend or somebody you think would like it, send it to them. If you have an Airbnb or a shipping container home or just any unique home used for any purpose shoot me a message down below and maybe we can work something out send me some photos if you want me to come and tour it and make a video thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you guys next week this is a 20 foot by 8 foot so that is 240 square foot uh so i believe that's 160 square feet <laughs> there i got it don't worry i got it oh, no. cool done in here. Wash your hands. Mm-mm. Yeah. Uh.
<laughs> Why anyone would move the furniture, we know not. <laughs> the rug. 